It's a beautiful day in this neighborhood, a beautiful day for our neighbor. Would you be mine? Could you be mine? It's a neighborly day in this beauty woods, a neighborly day for our beauty. Would you be mine? Could you be mine? I have always wanted to have a neighbor just like you. I've always wanted to live in this neighborhood with you. So let's make the most of this beautiful day. Since we're together, we might as well say, would you be mine? Could you be mine? Won't you be my neighbor? Won't you please? Won't you please? Please won't you be my neighbor? Hi, television neighbors. Here we are, visiting again. I got three things I would like to show you today. The Taylor Swift music from the motion picture sa soundtrack uh, CD, CD uh, uh, cassette. Uh, the picture of a hot air balloon. And a Disney re Rewards card. Now, be before we go visit our dear friends, Mr. Rajar Kipling, H.G. Uh, Wells, Emily uh, Bronte, uh, Rajar Kipling, and, and Miss and, and Arthur Conan Doyle and Miss uh, Pamela Travers. Uh, we have just enough t time for some make believe before we go visit our our neighborhood. Uh. Uh. Our neighborhood apartment. So, trolley. Hi, trolley. Last last time in the neighborhood of make believe, we were pretending that King Friday, played by uh, James, was uh, uh, auctioning a, a book book cost in the neighborhood of make-believe. Let's pretend that Queen Sarah is uh, auctioning a book sellout with her husband, King Friday. And maybe we could pretend that King Friday has some very special ideas for, for the, the, the king and queen and they 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 could be loving every minute of this auction so let's make believe some more about that now as the trolley goes into the neighborhood of make believe are you ready to go trolley all right why hello Dear Queen Sarah. Hello. Why, it's my husband, King Friday. Oh, my stars and straps. I was just oh, talking goodness. about you, King Friday. What were you saying? I was saying you've done a superb job of handling the children's auction. Think of the children. Think of the children. Um, I, I think you've done a nifty galifty job with the children's auctions, King Friday. Now, small, tired bird man, what is a galifty? Nifty in, go in, in my favorite book, Merriam-Webster's Dictionary, what is Golifty defined as? Uh, Nifty Golifty is uh, happy-go-lucky. I now understand. Thank you for informing me. Uh, well, we gotta go, Charlie. 
But thank you so much, Charlie. <laughs> well, I wonder how uh, all, all of those auctionaries are going to, to be there when the cost of that make-believe book auction is going to cost some more money with those neighborhood auctioners. Well, we'll pretend some more about that next time. But now, I would like to visit my dear friends, Roger Kipling, H.G. Wells, uh, Mary Norton, uh, Roger Kipling, and uh, George R. R. Martin. Uh, George R. R. Martin. And, 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 and Pamela Travers. So let's go to our neighborhood uh, apartment house right now. Come on. Go ahead. All right. Oh, you're squeezing it. Help. Hello, Miss Pamela Travers. Hi, babe. Uh, Victor Sprinkle. H Hello, Miss Mary Norton. Hello. Hello, George R. R. Martin. Oh, I thought I was going to be Snicket, but I guess George R. R. Martin. I see George R. R. Martin is one of the not help, writing. Help, help, help. Help. Hello, <laughs> Lemony Snicket. Hello, Mr. Fitness, George R. And hello. Miss uh, Emily Browning. <laughs> well, welcome. Uh, I would like all four of you to meet my television neighbor. Hello, television neighbor. Miss 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 Travers. Uh, Miss Miss Norton. Mr. Martin. Mr. Sneakit. And Miss. About Bowers. All right. Hello. Was there? A, sorry. Was there a question in there? Uh. So um. What? Well, at what age did all four of you start uh writing your uh books? I started writing when I was about twelve. Well, Miss mm -hmm. Travers. And, and what about you, uh, Miss uh, Norton? You know, writing was a recent endeavor for me. It was uh, just a couple years ago when I was a prime age of 23. And what about you, George R. R. Martin? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Yes, uh, well, I actually <clears throat> liked to write comics when I was a child. And uh, then I went from that into writing some fan fiction and then... Uh, <laughs> you see, I actually wrote several episodes for TV, uh, so Twilight Zone, and uh, Beauty and the Beast with Ron Perlman. Oh, favorite. very nice. Yes. And what about you, Mr. Sneakit? What, and what about your books? I am unfamiliar with my Wikipedia page. <laughs> I think that you wrote uh, a book series called a series of events. no, no, really good events Disney about oh, like, it was three kids who yeah. definitely had parents. A series of extremely fortunate events were not being pursued by mm -hmm. account um, Pilaf. Mm -hmm. You're right. right, it was unfortunate that I can't remember what books that I wrote, but I don't see how that this is anything. And, and he's uh, suffering from a little bit of the dementia. Trees. And uh, what about you, Miss uh, Bowers? What, what, what about you? You know, I actually also may have a case of dementia. I don't fully remember, but I'm glad to be here and talk about writing, which I don't remember. <laughs> and um, I'm just curious to all four of you, um, did you ever feel like strange or weird or happy just because all four of you were likable or dislikable when writing these novels? Definitely dislikable in some of the author's cases. Well, you know, some people maybe are jealous of my commercial success. <laughs> it's not my problem. Either. 
He was constantly buried in invites to conventions and nerd, nerd. Why do you sound, sound like you're looking for your safety net right now? Nice <laughs> deeply. Uh, well, I, you know, I also did write movies uh, with Mike Judge, uh, so he may or may not have faced Milton from Office Space on me personally. It's yes. a little known tidbit. You're welcome. That's in behind the scenes stuff. Um, now, um, I just have one more question be before I return back, back, back to my place. Um, I suppose when uh, most uh, kids grew up, they can be, become a big fan of all of the hard work that you've done to help kids understand the work that you've done to make your book so good. My books, of which I do not remember, I love you love my children when others my child characters that are put into uncompromising positions. <laughs> well, do not talk about this. <laughs> well, thank you, Miss Pamela. Thanks for having me. And thank, thank you, Miss Norton. Thank you. And thank you, George. And and thank you, Miss Emily. And thank you, Mr. Lemony Snicket. But unfortunately, I have to return back to my place. But I had a outrageous visit. Oh, lovely anytime. Great to see you, Victor Spring. Nice to see you. Yeah, I hope I can come again soon again. Come on back anytime. All right. I need well, an excuse not to write another book. <laughs> well, come come along. Let's go back to my place. Aren't those people really uh, fascinating? <sighs> Are we doing an editing break here? Oh. Oh. I'm not where to start. I'm not really going to because it's more you, you know, it gives me such a uh, humorous feeling to be able to help you understand why books are so... Uh, humorous to all all of you kids, young talent, and when you believe that there is some books that we can create in this world, and and their and their feel feeling young in your heart. You you can have a uh, beautiful feeling all all around the world and in your inner hearts and in your perfect love and passionate uh, voices too. It's such a good feeling to know your life. Uh, I know, you, you're fine. Are you sure? Yeah, yeah. You're growing inside and when you wake up ready to say, I think I'll make a snappy new day. It's such a good feeling, a very good feeling. The feeling you anyway, know James, that I'll be back when, 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 when the day is new and I'll have more I, ideas for you and you'll have things you want to talk about. 
I will you. You always make each day and each week a special one for me. You know how, by just your being you, there's only one person in this whole wide world who exactly like you in every way. And I love you exactly the way you are. I'll be back next time. Bye.